Shanghai, China. It's the most populated city in the world, 24 million people. But where can they live? There is no more land to build. Engineers squeeze an entire urban center into one city block by going vertical. The Shanghai Tower rises 128 stories into the air and shelters 16,000 people. Structures of this magnitude face many engineering challenges, but what is the greatest one of all? Mother Nature. Each summer, typhoons generate winds of up to 175 miles per hour. This could cause the Shanghai Tower to sway violently, but the engineers had some tricks up their sleeves. They solved this complicated problem by confusing the wind with a simple twist. One of the unique architectural design for the Shanghai Tower is its twisting exterior shape. The twisting exterior shape, people will think that you have to twist everything in the tower. But if we do that structurally, it will be a huge cost penalty. So we come up with an idea. What was the idea? Build the core of the tower like a rising circular wedding cake. Outside the circular wedding cake plan, we created a triangular shape of the building. The twisting, we find that helps to break down the aerodynamic, the, the wind turbulence. Uh, in addition, in order to further enhance the architectural profile of the exterior twisting shape, uh, we created a notch, like, like a guitar pick. And this notch really uh, confused the wind more. How did they know that this twisting and notch design would confuse and break up the wind and reduce the tower from swaying? Bring in the wind engineers. These wind wizards study the effects of wind on structures to make sure that they are safe and comfortable for the occupants. Before wind tunnel testing can begin, a model of the Shanghai Tower and surrounding buildings needs to be made. The modeling of a wind tunnel model is fairly comprehensive. That instrumentation takes probably several days to instrument prior to even going in the wind tunnel. And the instrumentation is quite sensitive, so it's a fairly intricate process. Once the model is instrumented, it is ready for the wind tunnel. One of the most visual tests these wind engineers perform is with a special wand. It's called the smoke test. Initially doing smoke visualization on the Shanghai Center allows us to see how the vortices are shedding off the building, how the wind flow patterns come off the tower, and are we sufficiently breaking up these large vortices over the height of the tower. Translation? This is a great way to see how the Shanghai Tower confuses the wind with its twisting shape. You can see the difference. Square or broad-faced buildings are equally as secure due to great engineers using alternative ideas to keep them grounded and safe. To give the Shanghai Tower extra stability in high winds, engineers created a tuned mass damper at the top of the building. It acts as a counterweight to minimize any noticeable movement due to the wind. The damper works. It's basically a mass suspended on a pendulum, if you think of it like uh, the mass in a grandfather clock. It's virtually frictionless, um, and what it does is it moves out of phase as the tower moves, so it lags behind as the tower is moving in the wind. So what is the most critical result after looking over all of this wind testing data? The interpretation and execution. The data that we derive from the test and the analysis we do is really ultimately the most important thing because that really proves how the building will perform. Structural and wind engineers carry the enormous responsibility to create safe structures that withstand the extreme forces of Mother Nature. At the same time as cities grow, engineers also need to keep in touch with nature. The Shanghai Tower is filled with green parks in the sky. These garden buffer zones insulate the tower, reducing energy costs and giving the 16,000 people a breath of fresh air. The Shanghai Center, for me, it largely represented China and China coming into the 21st century, so I think it represents the whole country. What will the next generation of engineers dream up for the cities of the future? It's gonna be big.